sponsored by Wormwood Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing very well. We are Valley of GR, guys are at Bournemouth, as I said, and we are going to be watching the air show. We're going to have a look around tanks and helicopters and all sorts of beach attractions and Richard's underwear. And uh, we're just going to have some fun, really. Uh, I'm Supercap, hello. Who are we going to pick on next? Oh, I don't know. How about Tuxor? I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Hi, Chuck, so how are you enjoying your day so far? I'm loving it. You are loving it so far? I mean, am I allowed to have fun today? Yes, so okay. you get one hour of fun. One hour of fun. And that's it, well done. The Saint, one of our new helicopter pilots. Hello. Say hello, sir. How are you doing? Hello, yes, thank you very much. The almighty Pritchard will not escape. How are you doing, Pritchard? I'm all right. All the way from Fayels. Fayels, well, isn't you it? Can you believe Lovely. that? Lovely. See, look at yes. the Thank you very much. Got Lewis one, hello. How are you? How are you doing? Thank you very much for coming. You look very cool in your hat. Thank you. The almighty Rob, um, who's now driving with us and doing some other stuff. Afternoon. Say hello, Rob. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, indeed. Uh, Lewis too, how are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. Thank you very much for coming. And the mighty Jeff, say hello, Jeff. Hi there, hi there. Hello. Oh, and don't forget, Alison, hello. Hello. Right, we will update you on future events and ting.
Autopilot for GR. Hello Valley viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Just an update. Oh, that's loud. Uh, we've got to like, what's the time, about five? Yeah, yeah so we're around there and um, we've had to cancel the flying unfortunately because we had an incident where one of the aircraft had to ditch into the sea. Or into a harbour, which is rather unfortunate. Uh, they did not die, which is good. Uh, so we're going up the cliff because it's all been cancelled now, which is annoying, but so be it. Uh, we've got to see some stuff at least. We're going up to the cliff to find a pub or something. Stand by. Verified actual gazelle. Uh, he's been flying in the UK flying the family He then joined the Tool ATC squadron. Right, How do you feel about it, Taxor? It's a bit small. It's a bit small. It is really worrying me small, actually. Look at that. Look how small that bit is. Pretty much. I wonder how many horsepower it is. Cool little helicopter. Real, look, it's actually real. Not fake. So that's the gearbox, or the transfer box. And that's the prop. Look, there's the prop brake for the rear thing that is literally a caliper like in a car. This is a mere thing. Um, actually, the weakness gives most of the hard work because, of course, he's got to adjust his flight profiles and his speed and position all the time. So he's concentrating really, really hard whilst the leader is concentrating on making sure he performs all of the manoeuvres absolutely safely and at the right speed and the right um, height. Uh, but there's uh, a warbird band in the, uh, in the other aircraft, uh, John Dodd. Look, I've never seen, no, it's obviously a mock up, but I've never seen even a mock up. <laughs> Nearly 200 kilos, ramjet, solid fuel, variable flow, duct, fast rag, exabolic. So, where are these ramjets then? And what are these things here? They're the ramjets. Kind of 
Oh, interesting. Isn't it amazing? That can go, I don't know what the range is, 100 miles or something. Real beastie. That looks about life size as well. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's too. Good. Yeah. So it's long, short range. Oh, this is an Azra. It's actually bigger than I thought it would be. So this is thrust vector, isn't it? 88 kilos. An infrared. And if you lock on the full launch, or lock on the full Storm Shadow's got a turbo. I thought it was unpowered. So, Hello, yeah. can we come and have a look at the gun, please? Of you can. Is that the actual real life gun? Yeah, so this, is, wow. this came out of an old Tornado GR4. Right. It has fired in anger, but obviously when Tornado was retired, we kept it as a retention tool to get yeah. service to sell the trade. There is a version of this in Tornado in Typhoon right. as well. Is this, it's called a Mauser? Yeah, Mauser 27mm. Wow, it is so much bigger than I thought it would be. It sounds yeah. stupid, but look at so that. So in Typhoon, yeah. with all those panels on, you will not see this at all. You won't even realise right. it's there. So with Tornado, you obviously used to have the end, yeah. you can see it. The Typhoon cool. is completely enclosed. Yeah. So the rounds go in, are they going in there or coming yeah. out there? So they're going in this yeah. side, <laughs> they're being, so with the springs and the tries come backwards, it's shunting the round into yeah. the middle position. Yeah. Electronically fired, yeah. initiated, round disappears after the end of barrel, yeah. three and a half thousand feet per second. Yeah. The empty casing is fed back out and into yeah. the tank. Right, and what kind of rate of fire was it? 1,000 to 1,700 rounds a minute. That's very fast, bearing in mind an assault rifle is what, 600 or something? Yeah. So that's almost Gatling gun fast. Yeah. Wow, what a piece of kit that is. How many rounds on the aircraft? 135. So you've got about... About 6 or 7 seconds <laughs> worth of ammunition. Yeah. And if you fire more than about 20 rounds through it in one go, it starts to warp the barrel. Really? Wow. Do they limit it so you can only fire in bursts then? So uh, that you no, could, wow. If a pilot wanted to sit there and keep the trigger yeah. compressed, he could do. Wow. Um, when you fit the gun to Typhoon, you have to do a functional test. Yeah. So you put an electric, you put a test round in it, yeah. which has all the electric connections yeah. you need. And part of the test is to see when you pull the trigger if it reacts. Yeah. The, the least amount of rounds we've ever managed to do on that test is six. Right. And that's literally on a split second pull yeah. the trigger. Wow. So that's, I mean, that's the benefit of the Gatling gun then, I suppose. You can literally just burr yeah. away. So, and whereas, like on the Gatling guns and the Gow 8s when you come to the A10s, yeah. the barrel rotates. Yeah. So you're reducing the wear and reducing the heat on the barrel. Yeah. That's not in this case. It's like a revolver. There's yeah. five cylinders in there and it's around into each cylinder and the cylinder yeah. revolves around. Is this a lot, the whole thing, is this considerably lighter than a Gatling gun? Yeah. Or, yeah, I guess. It's so this is still 120, 125 kilos. Yeah. Yeah. And bearing in mind when you go to the A10 gun, the A10 gun is about the size of the A10. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is this ever, was it any meant to be for air to ground or was it, was it could so it be air to air as well? It was originally envisaged as well. Yeah. But obviously with the advancements of aircraft and the maneuverability and the advancements of missiles yeah. it's become less and less yeah, right. at the forefront. So the Tornado it was always for the GR4 and GR1, it was always designed there to ground. Yeah. But it's used as a typhoon. The Germans have adapted it for air defence yeah. as an anti-aircraft gun and they've got elements of it in the German Navy where yeah. it's a German naval gun. Yeah. It's also used in the grip as well, actually, I think. Right? Mm, so, interesting. so that's a really successful gun then, isn't it? Well, it was developed during the 60s. Wow, that's amazing. For the development of Tornado. Yeah. And it's just been so reliable, it just kept yeah. it. Awesome. Thank you very much. No, you're welcome. Cool. Well, this is the best tent yet. Valued viewers, cap with a rocket launcher. No missile in it, right? It's good Look at the camera. Do I need to press a button or anything? Or yeah, boom! <laughs> Amazing. Maybe 12 kilo, 12.4 kilo. It's unbelievable. Still, I mean, it's literally so light. Even my nose has got a thing in it, but amazing.
Uh, do we know how much something like that would really cost? Uh, I think it's about 45. Oh, yeah. So, medium sized family car then. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Very good, thank you very much. No worries. That's Pritchard being mean with a M4? L129. M That's what I said, L129. Awesome, man. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I'm used to Susa. Yeah, the Acons. You can use the A-Pod on the fifth belt, and that can fire up to 1800 meters, so it just give you that range. Sorry. The good thing is as well, like the surveillance capabilities that you get with the A-Pod, because obviously it gives you that reach, as you can say. And the main thing that snipers do is actually reconnaissance and observation. So. What round is, it? is that? Is that? That's a six oh, right, so that's a thumping great. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be about right. How does that make you feel, Richard? <laughs> Moist. <laughs> nice. Hello and welcome back. It's now a time off break. Time anyone? 20 30 20, 20, Wow, that's getting into. We've had some beers and we're now going to report back. I don't know why, because we can. Tuxor, Aus Ting and Fields. I, know, I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the mirror aviators on. Pritchard, tell us the story. Send. <laughs> Have a sandbag. <laughs> tell us about the Falklands. No. <laughs> It was cold and there were sheep. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> Matt, do something good. <laughs> I don't know. He loves it. Yeah. Sing. Sing. Oh, no. Same. What have you got for us? Ruined. Yes. Uh, Rob, what's what's going on? It's the third beer. And everything's good. There we go. Mug mug. Hurry up, my mug. Yes. Get it. So we'll uh, report back at some other point. Bye. Right. Where are we going now, guys? Cheers. Thank you. Uh, which way is it? Oh my god, we're that's going this us. way. We're going this way. Going Come on, on guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Hello and welcome to, uh, I don't know, whatever the hell we're doing here. We've just uh, finished the first pub. Haven't we, Mama? Huh? They f***ed off. <laughs> we're going to the beach to get f***ing naked, baby. <laughs> we're off. We're off, we're off to the beach now, and we're going to go to the beach bar, and what are we going to do boys? We're going to do some swimming around, be naked. nice swimming baby! 
That's right. Uh, yeah, night swimming. Night swimming. So we'll report back once we've had a few beers on the beach. Oh, bye bye. Welcome back, Valley Viewers. We're on the way down to the night beach party and look. Star Destroyer. Star Destroyer versus which guy? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Lovely guys, but we're going down to the beach for night swimming and beer. Let's go. Welcome back, Valley Viewers. Very valley to go live views. So we have come literally all across Bournemouth because terrible, terrible navigation and deciding skills. We've come from all the way over there, plus about two miles, all the way over here, of a mammoth walk. We've had lots and lots of beers, and now we are uh, going to the uh, uh, beach party thing that may or may not be good. We'll see. There may be some sea swimming, we'll just have to see. Uh, let's just pick on someone to get their thoughts. Let's just say, uh, I'll tuck so. yeah, I'll, uh, How yeah. do you feel at this point? I'm happy because we're at the bar again. So <laughs> that's, I'm exactly, happy. that's exactly I'm right. I'm not so sure about the nude swimming that we're going to be doing. The nude swimming? You don't want to see the nude swimming? Not really. So it become nude? I, doesn't yeah, do you, sure doesn't do twiddle your knobs? I didn't sign up to this. <laughs> oh, Rich did. Uh, so. He did, he didn't he? But he'll, be happy, he'll be happy. Are you twiddling your own knob? Well, yes, that's, oh, I'm a big knob happen. twiddler. Yeah. Ich bin ein light monster. Okay, welcome back, Valley Viewers. Suck that beer down. Uh, we are... Where are we? We're in the middle of Bournemouth or something. And we are going in for some genius YouTube content. What's it called, boys? <laughs> Night swimming interviews. Night swimming interviews. In my genius, I've curated possibly the best type of content ever. We're going to interview valued humans in the night in while swimming. So, why not? Because this, you know why I'm interested in this, boys? Because there's a lacquer, a lacquer of fakeness that everyone has nowadays, right? Would you agree with me? Is that what you want? Everyone's Facebook imprint on your face? Oh, sweet, the Saints coming. Uh, you can't really can't see it, the Saints coming as well. We've got the Tuxor, we've got Pritchard. We're going in, and what we're going to do is we're going to peel away out that thick veneer of Facebook, social media, crap that nowadays that, that seems to dominate everyone's life. But we're going to bring it back to what really matters, the core principles of the modern man or woman. So. I think this is going on GR2. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Right, so stand by. I am just in my pants right now. That's okay. So we're going in now. I don't know if you see that. That is the Mediterranean Ocean. No, it's not. The Atlantic Ocean. In we go. What's the worst that can happen? I hope there's no jellyfish in here. <clears throat> oh, fuck. That was a waste of a point. Come on, boys. Night interviews with me, Esquire Supercap. Peeling away. It's not. Once you get. Oh, once you get away. Once you peel away. What really makes you... It's busy. You're a f***ing soldier! Come in! What's the matter with you? Look at them. They call themselves men, but are they really? <laughs> Come on guys, Come nighttime swimming really interviews are waiting for you. So guys, come close. Come close. Come on. You're literally not babies. We are. So, oh. let me think who I'm going to pick on first. I wonder. Let me wait. <laughs> I'm thinking because there are many options. How about the Tuxor? Hey. So, Tuxor, Hello. tell me, Hello. what have you gained? What have you really gained from coming down here with the boys today from nighttime oh, swimming? I've got more of an insight of what I'm doing with my life. More of an insight with what you're doing with your life. And what I should be doing with and my life. And what you're showing you. And tell us a little more about that. What were you doing wrong? And what do you now want to do right? 
I'll probably spend less time in the sea with my shorts around my knackers. <laughs> we are quite deep at the moment, Lat Valley viewers. I'm not gonna lie. My God. Less time. I'm not a particular long man, but I'm getting wet right now. You know where you are? Come on, boys. You're like two little children right in the two inch zone. Come in here if you want to be interviewed. Come on. Jesus. I like my cigarette. I've essentially got hot pants on in this moment. Yes, you have. You've got hot pants. Nice swimming. Deserves. Why you not? Here he comes. Here she comes. Pritchard and the Saints coming in. Now this is what GL is all about. Lovely, beautiful boys getting their tackle out on the day to compare. I mean, to really talk about life issues. So, uh, Pritchard. Yes. Now we've peeled away the life social media veneer of bullshit. Can you tell me what's the first thing you're going to do when you've gone home from this holiday? Dry my shorts. He's going to dry his shorts. They'll dry on their own, baby. Yeah. This is an Atlantic wind. Yeah. U-boats. Tell me about this. Look at this back there. U-boats sailed in wolf packs just out there. Not too many moon ago, 70 years ago. They were hunting Atlantic shipping coming from right to left along back. I beg your pardon. Literally, you're off. Army man, why is it Wait, so hard? Definitely don't want to move. Army, this is water. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, that's fair. And 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 and, and the difference is, do you know what the difference is, Richard? Oh. No, go on. Don't know. Run out of bullshit to say. The saint. The yes. saint. Why are you called the saint? Because I'm definitely not. <laughs> because he's definitely not a saint. He no. has murdered many a man. It's ironic. Mm -hmm. I used to do a lot of bad shit. My mom said. That's not like our Stephen, he's a saint. There he goes, he's a saint, and so he now is the saint. And he's joined Grav, G-R-A-V. Anyone know what that sounds for? Uh, Air cavalry. Uh, Air cavalry. Air cavalry. Where's the V? Avalry. <laughs> Avalry. <laughs> and now we're in the Atlantic Sea. We can strip away at the world's veneer of bullshit and talk about the Air Cavalry. Tuxor. No one else does this. I know they don't. No one else does. If you look at the YouTube creators, how many do night swimming interviews? No one does that. Tuxor, what's Grab GRF Vavalry really brought to you? Oh, that hit my todger. <laughs> That's a cold one, boy. I was going to say purpose to my life. But it's I, purpose. I might be lying. Purpose is good. Everyone has to have a purpose. Yes. You've got to find purpose. You've got to grab it by the ears and really run it. Punch. 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 Like that. Uh, this is not the worst interview ever. It's, I, you could say the worst, or you could say the saint, the most real, and stripped back from the lacure. Oh, I've done that bit. I'm not sure the, light, I'm not sure the lighting is very good. Basically, it's just pure black. Yeah. <laughs> no, you could literally f***ing do anything. No one would see shit right now. But it's okay. Exactly. You guys worry a lot. And you know what we don't do at GR? Worry. worry. About f***ing yeah. anything. Oh, That's right. I'm not worried. Guys, why are we sitting in the middle of the f***ing ocean talking with the camera on? Today has taken on a very surreal... Yes, it has. Timber. And literally, no one's even got fully naked yet. Partially naked, not fully. I am literally wet all the way up. Oh, I can't look down because I'm going to fall over. Simba, this is all your fault. Simba!